Hey everyone, welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you are not. In this video, I will be telling you 30 plus things that YouTubers do that viewers don't like. So if you are interested in hearing all of that, stick around to the end of this video and let us get straight into it. Clickbait titles, I'm just going to be telling you as it is. So these are real feedbacks from people that I got. Posted the question on Instagram and Facebook and I got these responses. If there is something that I mentioned in this video that you don't like that YouTubers do, be sure to comment it even if it is something that I do. We all have something to improve on. So it is always a pleasure to hear the things that we can improve on, things that you don't like to see how we can better do things as content creators. So don't be hard on us, don't be hard on us. Just tell us and if you are a YouTuber and someone is telling you that they don't like something, just see how best you can work on it and if it is your personality don't ever change your personality because you have to stay true to you viewers will come around and love what you do so if you feel as if that is working for you don't let anything in this video affect you just know that you should do it just the same if it is working for you because everyone's audience is different as i always say all right so without me talking any further let's just get straight to the point clickbait titles and thumbnails that is not good because if someone clicks on a video based on the thumbnail or the title and it doesn't match up they are going to be clicking off so that doesn't even count that doesn't even make any sense because you are not gaining anything from it um, because as they click on the video and they don't see what they want they are clicking off so watch out for that promoting something that they don't use so it's so obvious to your viewers that you do not use these products imagine you are promoting something for fitness and we know we can look at you and know that you don't do anything at all relating to fitness like me what would be the sense of promoting something some fitness thing look at me look at my workout i i don't work out so <laughs> that is completely out of it i don't think just because you want to make the money um you should because remember that your audience they're the ones who are watching so always find a way if you are going to be promoting something and you don't use it what's the sense of lying about it just promote the thing your audience if they're interested then they're just interested if they're not they're not so don't lie about anything that you are promoting because it's a turn off to a lot of people relevant points in videos to make it longer now this is a big 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 no no I always say this um, you can even check out my YouTube tips playlist I'll be putting it in the iCard um, it makes no sense to make a video longer and what you are seeing in the video it doesn't make any sense just because you want it to be 10 minutes and longer no don't do that because you are not getting anyone to stay on your videos because they are clicking off as soon as everything just starts sound like nonsense to them so don't um, stay or make unnecessary points in videos just because you want it to be longer you are not gaining anything from it. bad lighting and audio so I always try to um, improve how I set my ring light or how the entire lighting is in my room or the audio right now I'm not using my mic because I lost something from it but the lighting now it's always best to work on those things because someone even said that they can look past a 360 to 480 video but they can't look past bad audio and it can go vice versa right so you have to be careful of these things and ensure that you always try to push out the best quality for your video and your audio a super long intro one minute intro with the same thing that they know you know it's, it's the same picture you just having your instrumental background music with the same pictures and everything it doesn't make any sense if the intro is like one minute long I'm going to be skipping that intro you are wasting people's time so sometimes I don't even use intro in my video it doesn't have to be there and you can just put it if you want to but if you have an intro don't make it like one minute don't make it one minute because that's just too much it's not adding value to anything loud annoying background music so you always have to make sure that you listen to your video over and over and over and over and I listen and I watch back my videos over and over and over because I try to avoid this you know not because I want the video to have some vibes or something like that I'm going to add the music that even when I'm talking you can't hear me you can't get the information that you are trying to give to them so it makes absolutely no sense let me I'll use the phone now you see what I say? 
turn down your background music it's unnecessary to have your background music that high because if I can't hear what you are saying it makes no sense to be on the video over the top reaction is a thumbnail so sometimes when I see some people they're in the pan or they might do all kind of something and it just not really like it not have nothing to do with the video like them not have to be the extra it turn off some people you would be surprised to know how many people they don't click on your video just for that someone said annoying voice overly edited footage and unnecessary edits that happened to me once i added too many memes you have to be sure that we don't do it too much we don't add too many memes just to try and grab attention because that pretty much at times gets annoying it's a big turn off yes you want your video to be fun but don't add too much don't over edit your video less is better the simpler the better so that's a tip for you obvious faking and reacting and fake personality anyone addressing the audience as guys no that's just how some people are and it's not anything bad but i guess what this person was trying to say is constantly in the video all you are hearing is guys 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 like nothing else hey guys so i was saying that guys you know that guys like you know i was really saying that guys you have to really try and do this guys like yeah i think that's what they mean it's not like if you are doing it in the beginning of your video or if you are doing it like a few times i guess it's when it becomes annoying and it becomes too much the video doesn't tell what the title says and takes too long to get to the point the video doesn't tell what the title says a big turn off and if you take too long to get to the point no one is going to stay unless some persons decide that they are just going to skip until they hear what they came on the video for i always say that the first five to ten seconds of your video ensure that you are telling the viewer exactly what the video is about um so they will be able to stick around and they can know that okay okay it's not clickbait you get what i'm saying so the first five to ten seconds ensure that you are telling the viewer what the video is about and what they can get from it poor editing some people they can see that you don't put any time into your editing you don't put any effort into it people can see that when you upload the video adverts in asmr not giving support to people who are subscribed no time or effort put into the video so people can see when it's just a rush thing you just show up the video just because you want to show up the video you know like you just put up the video just because you want to put up the video and you want to stay or remain consistent so that's a big no-no and that's a big turn off so don't ever do that just because you want to remain consistent always remember that quality over quantity but my god what the fan in a day in the phone really but people the eater kill me i have turned on the fan a while ago so if not you're the fan stay with me because the heat we can't deal with it <laughs> we, can't deal, we can't deal with it too much of sponsor talk so imagine you come on a video for youtube tips and pretty much for half of the video all you are hearing is the person talking about the um sponsor okay, um advertisements like one minute short like your sponsors make that like one minute short or something like that but to be like half of the video or even Three minutes i think that's too long because they didn't come on the video for that so try to always be creative and make it as short as possible eight ads in a 10 minute video they hate seeing too many ads in 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 a in a, in a very short video literally every minute an ad pops up so you are pretty much not getting the chance to um enjoy the video but on the other hand they are trying to make um they are trying to make something out of the video so i can understand that so it doesn't really bother me but it's something that you know persons they really don't like person talking um is whispering or shy so you can't be shy in front of the camera you can't not have confidence while recording because people will pick up these things and it's a big turn off it makes no sense to be recording a video and you are just It, that yeah, you know, make no sense. I'm gonna click off of the video because I'm not here. Nothing screaming loud sound effects, video clips, 100% middle ads, speaking too fast, not getting to the point or at all, trying to be too pretty on camera, constantly posing and staring at themselves, too much screaming, giggling and laughing too much, long video with no substance, and this one. What up, guys? It's your boy back at it. Yeah, them don't like that. It, it, it gets annoying. The arm, the uh, yeah. That can be edited out. So I used, I, I used to like not really edit it out because I think I was like talking too fast. So it would have like cut off what I was saying. So I would have like just left it alone. But now I take breaks while I'm talking. So 
it's easy to transition and stuff like that so you have to be sure that when you are doing that you are seeing the uh and the arm you edit that up i'm sorry guys been away so i think what this person is trying to say is if you are going to be away for a while at least let us know as much as you are not obligated to tell anyone they feel as if they have you know built this special bond with you and you just came off the radar without even saying anything you are not obligated but some persons they would really prefer for you to tell them than just going ghost on them an informative video smacking lips before they start talking trying too hard for attention sponsors in the middle of a video dishonesty rivalry so this one it makes no sense for small youtubers to be um, competing because we are all in a space that we are trying to grow this person is at a higher subscriber count than me so i won't share their videos because i don't want them to you know reach further than i am i don't want them to get more subscribers than i am getting i don't want them to get any of that so that in itself is competition and that in itself is not good and imagine how fast we all could grow if we were all supporting each other sharing you know really engaging with each other's content um we'd be a great community we'd be a powerful community but too much competition in this youtube journey and it's just really not it too much profanity i personally don't like this once a video has too much profanity i'm clicking off i'm clicking off i don't like videos with too much profanity or at all but I mean, I, I can't escape it and that's just how some persons are and that's, I mean, that's okay. But if it's like too much, too much, too much, I'm not going to be sticking around to listen to that. Too much call to actions every single minute in the video. Remember to follow me here, remember to follow me there, remember to follow that, remember to follow this. I have the, the animation things that I use, um, so that's not, that's not an issue. I've never heard someone complain about it before. Even the animation itself, it can be too much, so you just have to know how you use it apology videos that take eight to ten minutes using robot voices zero confidence the nagging guys 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 i said that already um i don't know why i'm gonna take that out but anyways when people aren't being themselves and trying to be someone else so as i said people can they can tell these things if your energy is off they can tell they can feel it they can see it so you have to ensure that you are being genuine in front of the camera at all times because people they do see these things too much stage pranks getting hype after they get a check getting hype after they reach 1k so i've seen it even where you know when people get they get to 1k they literally just lock off and they don't really post as much um they don't respond to comments they don't heart their supporters comments they only answer to friends and i think that one was coming up like small youtubers they do not answer to comments um, from other people only their friends and people see that and people look at that and you are not going to be getting anybody to come back on your video if you constantly ignore them and only answering your friends and don't just i said this before that's why i really want you guys to check out my youtube tips playlist when you are responding to comments don't just say thank you for watching be personal about it and let them know that you actually took the time to really read their comment and get what they are saying so i always try to start a conversation with my supporters so um, we can really build a great and a genuine audience and no one feels out of place no one feels as if you know you're not my friend so i'm not talking to you it's never like that and i have responded to every single comment on my channel so um yeah that that's that that is what keeps persons coming back on your videos anyways let's get started after 13 minutes of crap so you pretty much want to get started like after just talking 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 nonsense 13 minutes into the video just don't believe that no one is going to be sticking around 13 minutes of you not doing or doing exactly what the title said or whatever they will be skipping and if they don't hear what they came for they are going to be coming out so you pretty much just wasted that entire video so watch out for that so yeah um that is pretty much it and i really hope that you all you got something and you heard something that you know could you could probably improve on or you could experiment with if you have made it this far in the video please comment peace so i can know that you made it this far in the video so be sure to comment below and let me know um, anything that I didn't mention in this video about the things that YouTubers do that viewers don't like. Even if it is me, be sure to comment it because I always enjoy hearing from you all. And I want to improve 
as much as I can as we all should be doing on this journey. So y'all, my birthday is November the 3rd and I'm trying to get to 2k for my birthday so be sure to share my channel with someone, encourage them to subscribe, keep watching the entire videos and stuff, be sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on your post notification bell so you will be notified every single time I post a brand new video. I upload a new video every Monday and Thursday at 6 p.m. so I will see you in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.